This is the interview from the lady that spotted Allison Chow when she was found. from the woman who spotted a missing Monterey Park teen near our station in a shocking turn of events. The teen now in DCFS custody. Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Munoz explains why the mother also found Allison Chow is speaking publicly after listening to Allison's plea. When 15-year-old Allison Jillian Chow went missing, family, friends, and strangers began sharing flyers in person and online. One of those flyers reached Rochelle one day before she picked up her morning coffee, where she unexpectedly spotted Allison walking by. Something in my head said, it's her. Rochelle called police and followed Allison by car for several blocks until she reached our ABC7 studios in Glendale. She was very clear on, I've come to ABC to tell my story. No one else will listen to me. What struck me immediately was how self-possessed she was, sound of mind, very articulate, very clear on what the situation was. After listening to Allison's plea, Rochelle decided to speak publicly. She was crying. She was very upset, mostly about not being able to tell her story. Allison's mother released a statement Tuesday saying in part, Allison is a young girl and her feelings about my divorce from her father are understandably complicated, but she has family, both my side and her dad's side, that loves and adores her. I will always do my best to protect Allison's interests, no matter the circumstances and regardless of the stones that may be thrown at me. Allison's father thanked those who helped find her. You know, all the friends and community that come out and help, you know, find her. His sister believes Allison ran away because she did not want to be with her mother. Allison's court-appointed attorney says the complex situation should not be playing out in public and that based on her advocacy for Allison, including, among other things, consultation with medical professionals, the judge has made determinations that are solely in Allison's best interest, including awarding Allison's mother, Annie Chow, sole decision-making authority regarding Allison's mental health and sole physical custody of her. According to Mr. Chow's attorneys, DCFS is currently involved. Rochelle, who is a mother, and someone who is just learning about Allison's case, underscored she believes Allison does not feel heard. I can only tell you that this is someone who's three years short of adulthood, who believes that she's deeply unheard and that she has no avenue for adjudication. New CoverGirl Eye Enhancer 3D Mascara. Up and out volume. Once there's more on Allison Chow's case, I will be posting it. And also, she is in CPS custody and foster care right now. So I will give you guys updates. Thank you guys. Have a great night.